What's going on YouTube, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're talking yet again about untethered jailbreaks and semi-untethered jailbreaks and stuff like that. For iOS 13.3.1, 13.4, 13.4.1, new stuff has been released and very important stuff. So I guess I posted a couple of days ago, quote, rip my very first zero day and absolute best sandbox escape ever. And he posted the code in there. Now, at the first glance, it just looks like a couple of tags from an XML file or from a plist file, so nothing really special. Hear me out, the way he does it actually allows him to get any entitlement he wants and the following one in here in the tweet already allows him to do a proper sandbox escape which means that he already has part of a jailbreak for iOS 13.3.1, 13.4, 13 13.4.1. By the way this has been patched by Apple in 13.3. But anyways, this is actually extremely bad and I'm not talking about the bug itself. The bug itself is actually pretty cool and it can be used for a jailbreak and actually it may even help with an untethered or pseudo untethered jailbreak. We'll talk about that in a couple of seconds, but this has already been abused in a proof of concept to steal SMS messages. Uh, this blogger in here posted, quote, stealing your SMS messages with iOS zero day. And he basically tried to create like a program that would extract the uh, SMS database from your phone by of course abusing the uh, the bug that Segusa posted in order to get sandbox escape. Normally and naturally your SMS messages are stored in the database, but that database isn't available to any application other than the messages. And of course on iOS, everything requires an entitlement or a special permission if you want in order to access various parts of the system. So everything is well contained and only if you do have that entitlement you can access the information. It's pretty secure. But that's when the sandbox escapes come and of course with one you are no longer requiring that entitlement because of course you can give yourself arbitrary entitlements which is the problem. He managed to basically write this code in here which as you can see is just a couple of lines of uh, Swift code so it's not even that much. Most of it is just messages to be printed on so it's not even that uh, serious. And this is the path where iOS towards your messages in a private var mobile library sms, sms.db. It's basically a database. And as if that's not enough, he basically added the following entitlements file, which is the same thing as Saigusa posted in here. The way it's written makes it trigger the vulnerability, the way it's parsed actually. And of course, after that, he signed the file and he successfully got the messages, which is the problem. He was able to extract very important, critical personal data from a device in his proof of concept in here by abusing this vulnerability in here. So this is the second mess up that Apple has in just a couple of days. Just a couple of days ago, we got this in here. You've got zero click mail, which is a very serious vulnerability discovered by Zecops, which allows anybody to hack your device by sending you an email, of course, through the mail application on Apple devices. And all of them are vulnerable all the way up to iOS 13.4.1, which is currently the latest. And this one in here by Segusa also works for iOS 13.4.1, 13.4, 13.3.1. At this moment in time, it's not patched in the latest stable release. But security aside, is this usable for a jailbreak? Of course, very usable. In fact, with this in here, we can give ourselves any entitlements we want. And not only that, we can get sandbox escape in a simple click. And as you are probably aware, a sandbox escape is a very important component of a jailbreak. You don't get too far if your jailbreak cannot access system files or write to various system folders. So this one would definitely do. It was a huge zero day, but unfortunately, Apple already passed. It. However, many people said that we might be able to create an untethered jailbreak with this. Jake James, however, gives more information about this. He says, quote, for your information, people asking why some other people think it can do an untether. An untether as we know it cannot be done as it requires a code sign bypass. However, this gives you access to any kind of entitlement. Next tweet. And then he posts, quote, you can potentially abuse different backgrounding modes that would otherwise have required Apple's approval to exploit a device on boot. A suggestion someone made is using the voice over IP. API. I don't know how suitable it is, but if so, a pseudo untether could be done. Of course, it would obviously still require resigning. The only thing it would change is making it run automatically. So basically using this, we might be able to abuse parts of the system to make the jailbreak actually run automatically on boot, which is completely nice. And of course, it would be perfect because it means that you wouldn't have to jailbreak every single time you power on your device. The jailbreak would just start automatically like an untethered one. We call this pseudo-untethered because 
They're not certainly untethered, they still require you to resign them every so often, but they do run automatically so you don't have to open an app and press jailbreak and stuff like that, which of course makes them a little bit better than semi-untethered, which we have now with the uncover and stuff like that. And as I said, this works on 13.4.1 and 13.4 and everything else, frankly, because Sagusa found this in January 2017, which at that point, I think it was like, what, iOS 10? This is actually a very old vulnerability and I really hope that it's actually uh, vulnerability only Saigusa had till now because if this has been exploited in the past it could have done a lot of damage but this is actually very very useful for a jailbreak on iOS 13.4, 13.4.1, 13.3.1 and of course a jailbreak that is pseudo untethered so that's actually quite cool however I would definitely recommend you to make sure you don't install any malicious applications that abuse this bug by now because they can definitely extract your files like your photos and your SMS messages and stuff like that which of course you probably don't want. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.